Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jonathan Webker. I'm a park ranger with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at Coralville Lake. And today I have with me my boys Samuel and Tobias, as well as our dog Chester. And we're just kind of getting ready for the recreation season. We're going to do an inspection of our life jackets and then make sure everything's properly fitted. So some things that we're looking for um, are rips, tears, anything like that. Um, when we're going through our jackets, there's uh, some important parts we want to make sure that we're fitted for the right weight and that it says U.S. Coast Guard approved. Uh, both my boys have put on their life jackets and it's extremely important that we make sure that they're uh, buckled all correctly, that they're fitted properly. Uh, if Samuel or Toby was to put on my kayaking jacket, this would be too big and I could literally pull it right off. So a good way to check that is to put their jackets on after you've given them a full visual inspection and we're just going to pick up <laughs> on the boys to make sure. Because if they go in the water, we want that jacket to stick onto them solid. So we'll do the same for Toby. He's getting excited. And a lot of these jackets, they have a handle on the back so we can pick them up on the side and we can hold them, uh, in, pull them into our boat or save them on the beaches, something like that. But it's just it's another safety feature that a lot of life jackets have and it's important to have. Um, Chester has a life jacket on too and uh, this is for when him and I go hunting but same thing I want to make sure his jacket is safe too. Helps him out when he's floating in the water. Uh, some other things that we have uh, is our type 4 throwable and we're just going to do an inspection of this one guys. Take a look. Do you see any rips or tears? Nope. Nope. Nothing like that. Okay. Do either of you guys know how to use this if yes. we throw it into the water? You do? How do we use it? You show us. Like Chester's getting vocal. Getting okay, so you're going to grab hold of it, like put your that. two hooks on the sides of your arms, your and you're just going to hug it, right? But if you're staying in for longer... If you're in the water for longer, and you can't see land, one way to put it on, Chester, is put it on your leg, put it over your arm, and again, just hug it. And by putting it over our leg and our arm, it just keeps it a little bit more secure to our body and it can get us to uh, safety a little bit quicker. Right? Yeah. Okay. The other thing we have is a Type uh, 2 inflatable. And mine is actually expired. So we're going to test it today. And I know Toby's excited. So there's a couple different options. This is a hydrostatic system where if I jump in the water, 3 PSI is going to inflate my jacket. But in order for this jacket to be legal, I have to wear it all the time, anytime I'm on the water. Um, but I have a replacement cartridge and uh, we'll get that replaced here later. But Tobias, would you do the honors and pull this cord to see if this thing works or not? And then if nobody's seen how these work, you'll be able to see it. Can you do it? Pull. Grab it and pull. Pull hard. It's going to make a pop. Come on. You got to pull. One, two, three. didn't quite inflate all the way, okay? So that's why you want to check the expiration dates on it. And the tube on the side is used for inflating or deflating to make it comfortable for you, okay? You guys have questions? Call my park rangers at Coralville Lake. We'd be happy to go through a demonstration with you, but we're looking forward to seeing you on the reservoir in 2020. Thanks.